Hi, in this video we want to look at highlighting duplicates um, that appear across two columns. So I want to know which customers that appear in this list also appear in this list. Or I might want to know which are the new customers. I want, might want to highlight the new customers or I might want to highlight the old customers. Both methods you're going to have to use something called a VLOOKUP in conjunction with something called conditional formatting. So first of all, what we're going to do is create our VLOOKUP as a formula within the worksheet and then use that formula within conditional formatting. It's quite helpful just to see the formula within the spreadsheet. You can therefore see uh, exactly what it's doing. So anyway, um, I am going to use a VLOOKUP here. So equals VL, and then I can press tab on my keyboard to complete the function name. And the VLOOKUP requires me to look up a value, which will be this value here, comma in, in this table array. So basically the table array will be this column here. I want to find, I want to look and see if that value appears in this array here, this range of cells here. Now I'm going to fix this table array because when I copy the formula down, I don't want to start looking down here. So I can do that just by pressing F4 on my keyboard. That puts the dollars within the cell references, which locks them, comma. Col index number, well, I um, this is asking you basically which column within your table array contains the values you want to check, uh, you want to uh, borrow values from now. We are, we've only got one column within our table array, so we can only put one in. So we're putting a one in there, comma, and we're going to perform an exact match. I want to find uh, exactly this customer within this list. So I'm gonna go for false, or I can type zero. Zero or false creates an exact match. So if I do control enter to confirm, leaves me in the cell that I'm editing. I can then double click on this fill handle, this green square to fill down. Now what happens is, is the VLOOKUP will return a value if it finds a match and it will return NA if it doesn't. So NA means nothing found. So basically the NAs indicate that these particular customers are new customers because they're not in this January table. Uh, and where I've returned a name, no customer here and co, for example, um, that indicates that it has been found in this list. So it's an existing customer. Now, this is all very useful, but conditional formatting uh, can only use formulas where the formula returns a true or false result. But what I can do is, for example, if I wanted to uh, return true whenever they're was a new customer, I could use, for example, I've double clicked in that first cell, I could use the formula uh, is NA. Now is NA checks to see whether a formula returns true or false. Uh, sorry, if a formula returns NA or not, the NA error, and if it does, it will return true. Let's just see how that works. All I had to do was type equals in it is NA and then surround my VLOOKUP with brackets. Control enter, copy down. There we are, I just get trues and falses now. So, because I've got trues and falses, I can know I can use this formula as the basis of my conditional formatting. So, I'm going to double click in that cell, highlight the whole formula, copy. And I'm now going to select all these names. I'm going to say conditional formatting, new rule. And I'm going to go down to use a formula to determine which cells to format. And I'm going to paste in my formula, control V, and I'll choose a format to apply if the formula returns uh, a true value. So if I click on OK, what that does is it highlights all the new customers, all the ones where I got true over here. I've now got red backgrounds over here. So this is essentially highlighted the unique values, the ones that are not duplicated over here. Now I'm going to undo that, Control Z, and I'm going to now show you how you would um, basically highlight the duplicates. There'll be a number of ways you could do this. 
you could, if you wanted to, just put not in front of this formula. Again, I'd surround the whole thing with brackets. Control enter, and that will turn all the trues to uh, all our falses to trues, and all our trues to falses. It just kind of swaps it around. Another thing you could do, I'm just not doing it again, is I've quite undone it enough. Control Z, Control Z. Another thing you could do is rather than using is te is na, you could say is text. Because in this scenario, uh, if the VLOOKUP returns a value, it's going to be a text value. Um, so you've got two options there, really, haven't you? There's loads of little is functions that you can use in Excel, but eventually you can get to the true or false results that you're looking for. So what I can do is copy this again, highlight all these cells. Conditional formatting, new rule, and use a formula to determine which cells to format. I paste in control V my is text function. I choose a red background. Let's go for a white text this time, just to make it easy to read. Click on OK, and there it's formatting and highlighting all the duplicates. So there we are. If you're trying to find duplicates across two columns, you're going to have to use VLOOKUP. I've created in this little column here, but I can actually get rid of that now. Not actually needed at all. Um, let me just clear it, clear all. It gets rid of it entirely. And uh, use a VLOOKUP uh, in your formula. Well, a VLOOKUP converted to true and false using some sort of is function in front of it. And then you can paste it into conditional formatting and there you get the nice bit of highlighting that you were after. Okay, hopefully that's helpful.